about Dijkstra. Dijkstra can be implemented by using directed or undirected drug. But mind it, we can't apply Dijkstra whenever the value of the weight of the edges contain negative value. In that situation, we have to apply different algorithm. We will discuss in our different video. Now we concentrate about only directed drug. The same algorithm can be applied on the directed graph also. Now choose an example and the right hand side the algorithm is visible. You can see that each and every step I will explain from that algorithm. First the step is initialization portion. Initialize all the vertex as we have to follow a table. I am describing very <coughs> quick. DB is the all vertex set and PD says that the vertex from where we can reach do, to this vertex and we have, uh, uh, apply a color. Color indicates the, if, the process, if we process the vertex, we will apply the color as red or black or until or unless the uh, vertex is not processed, we apply white color. Here we apply only processed color as red color, not black. You can apply black also, at, at least any different color other than white color. And another is priority queue. Why we apply priority queue? In the algorithm, you can see that within the while loop, there is a for loop. So, if we apply the priority queue concept, the complexity <coughs> goes down to very much from the n square because two for loop, two loops, two nested loop. Always we know that the complexity is n square, but we apply the heap or priority queue concept, then the complexity will goes down. That's why we use the priority queue. So, first time we have to assign all the vertex except ds because ds is 0 and all the vertex has infinity value. And at the same time the predecessor, no predecessor that means all are assigned as nil value n for nil. And the color v in the initially we have applied all the color as white and the priority Priority queue con contain only this is 0 and all are infinity. This is our first step and the initialization part. Next, we come to the while loop until or unless the queue is empty. If there is any vertex left, then we have to continue the while loop. Within the while loop, we apply the for loop where we find the relax algorithm. Relax algorithm is nothing but we have always update this value. If the present distance of the new weight of the edges is less than the dv then we have to update the dv and at the same time we have to write the predecessor of u as e that means we reach from u to v this is the relaxed algorithm within the for loop we always have to apply and whenever apply uh, applying this we have to set the color as whether it is processed or not if processed then red otherwise white now Come to the <coughs> while loop, Q is empty, no, then within the for loop, relax. That means first time which value is relaxed and which value will be colored because AS is the source. So this is the minimum. That means we processed this color as red and the predis at the same time priority Q is one decrease because this node is processed and we have to make this as value as 0 and make it color red. The value is red. You can write the value within different color because then the graph will be very clear. So value is 0 and the node is marked as red color. Here I use only <coughs> straight line. Uh, you can full, full fill up the node also. Now come to the next whether the adjacent of A is that means from source node to where we can reach from source node why we can reach we can reach from source to A and source to B but if we consider that means source to A and source to B there are two reachable nodes that means if we update the predecessor if we update the predecessor that means we can reach the predecessor, we can reach from S to A and S to B and the corresponding value of S to A is S to S2 and S to B is 7. 
but apply relaxation algorithm we can see that this value is minimum so update 2 as the dv and at the same time that we have to change this color as red and at the same time the priority queue reduced to size 1 that means we have processed two nodes and we have to write the value of 2 here within this node and we have to mark it as red each and every time you have to draw in your copy different diagram here I am erasing the value but in the copy you don't have any option to erase so you have to draw each and every time each figure and you have to draw this table each and every time I am just updating this value by erasing but mind it you have to redraw and rewrite this table again and again so now where I am at node A that means from node A which are the reachable node from A we can see that we can reach into B so from A we can reach into B by bearing we can reach into A by bearing value 5 and from A where we can reach we can reach the node C by varying value 8 to 10 and from node A that means here is no day and from node A to D we can reach 7 so updated value is this now we have to choose by applied relaxed algorithm which one is very less we can see that 5 10 and 7 the 5 is less so we have to mark this node as red and the priority queue will reduce by one value that means at this moment what we have to do we have to write this value from a to b reaching value is 5 that means this is 5 from the table and we have to mark this as red that means this is processed now we are at node b from node b to where we can reach from node b to we can reach c we can reach a but if we look this if we move this 5 plus 2 7 and 5 plus 1 6 so which one is less 6 so we have to update the table again we have to update the table again that means from b we can reach node c from b we can reach node c by value which value 3 to 5 5 plus 1 6 and there is no path if we consider the this is again no path but from b we can reach but value is 5 plus 1 6 6 plus 4 10 so this is b now if we look which value is smaller we can see that this value is smaller because 6 is smaller so we can tell that we have to choose this that means we have to update this value as 6 and mark this as processed that means in the table we have to mark it as process red color and reduce the size of the queue as this now we are at node 6 so from node 6 we can reach this node by value 6 plus 4 10 but if we move from a to d there is a path so we can get 5 plus 2 that means 7 so which one is smaller 4 plus 6 10 and this is 7 and if you choose this path you can also move this this path but 7 plus 2 9 9 plus 5 14 so we can see that from this 5 plus 2 7 is the smallest so we have to update the table again that means we can reach from node a to d and the value is updated value is 7 so we have to rearrange this value also that means 
this is as 7 and the Q is now empty and this color marked as red that is this is red. So after this we can see that all the priority Q set of Q is empty that means the while loop will fail and within the for loop we marked all the noded all the nodes and the corresponding value. So if we want to draw the final diagram we can uh, write it as if we want to draw final diagram we can write it in this way this is the our node this another is this and if this was this this was our source this was a this was b this was c and this was d and we can write the corresponding value also this was 2 this was 3 1 and this was 5 this is our final graph for shortest path now we are coming to the complexity portion because always we have to <coughs> calculate the complexity in complexity portion we can write in this way for calculating complexity complexity of Dexta. Number one, initialization part. Initialization. Initialization part takes how many loops? It takes order of V, or you can say as you can say it as order of N also. V for vertex, N for vertex. So for initialization part, we required order of V. But whenever we updating each adjacency, whenever we updating each adjacency vertex, then we use priority queue that is if so it requires order of log v plus order of 1 that means order of log v and each and every time update all the edges that means all the edges means it requires for e edges it requires e into log v order of this is step 3 for I am repeating you again for update all adjacency vertex considering their edges but for all vertex V all vertex V we have to cover all the vertex so complexity will be order of if we write in capital then V E log V you can use small or caps no problem this is the our final complexity v e log v and mind it whenever we use priority queue we get as overall complexity as order of e of log v so this is the reduced complexity reduced complexity this for priority queue. So, one of complexity reduced to E log V whenever we apply the priority queue concept. And another important thing is you can implement Dijkstra as BFS with a priority queue. This is similar as priority queue. Now, now uh, this is your homework. Find the shortest path, single source shortest path of Dijkstra applying GD method. Now write the answer in the comment box. If you want to get the updated video or the latest video or the next video, always subscribe my channel. Please subscribe my channel to get the next video. And another thing is write the answer in the comment box. And if you need the PDF notes from this topics, you will find the Google Drive path in the description. Please open the description of the video and you will get the PDF path of the notes. That's all. Thank you.